Hi, I'm Jace Haskell and welcome to the Game Day Grub series. Now here we have some incredible beef jerky that will destroy any South African biltong in a head-to-head. -head. I'm going to take you through the recipe to make the perfect flavoursome jerky that is moist, that is tasty, that is unctuous, all the words for unbelievable. I'll sort it out for you. Today we are going to use the Traeger Ranger. We're going to set this to 75 degrees. We'll probably do it for three or four hours and it'll be absolutely perfect now like all of the traeger range they're wood pellet grills there's a whole variety of different wood pellets you can put in your grill today we've got my favorite which is cherry so when we do the initial smoking it's going to pick up that really nice cherry uh, cherry flavored smoke here we have a beautiful piece of topside steak now what's really important first of all when you're preparing your beef is to remove any of the silver skin take off any of the fat and again now a bit like with a tree you have different parts of the grain if we were to go with that grain uh, then our beef jerky would be a lot chewier. What we've done is gone against it. And basically the, the idea behind that is you get a perfect succulent piece of beef jerky. This is a perfect piece. As you can see, we've cut across it. Absolutely no fat on it. This is a little bit too thin. So that's something we wouldn't use. And it's the perfect combination with Traeger. Smoky flavors, then dehydrated. It's the perfect match made in heaven and will absolutely blow the South Africans away. The next phase of our game day grub beef jerky preparation is to put a wonderful marinade together on the top side of steak to make sure that it's fully flavored. We like a little bit of spicy kick to it. So what we've used and the foundation for this recipe is the Traeger beef jerky rub. We've then added some Coca-Cola, we've added some bourbon and some Worcestershire sauce, and we've sat this in the, uh, the fridge overnight, and all of the amazing beef has soaked up those flavors before we put them in the grill. And that combination of the, uh, of the smoke and this beef will create this mouth-watering, unctuous flavor. We're just ready for cooking now. Now the grill's been heated up to 75 degrees as we talked about. All we're gonna do is we're gonna lay the strips of beef across the grill here, and we're gonna smoke it on that low temperature. And also in terms of all the snacks you could have pre-game or during the game, this is incredibly healthy for you. Really good source of protein and it's way better than reaching for bowls of, of really fatty crisps. Now we have all of the uh, beef jerky on the Ranger. We're gonna go away, probably leave that for about an hour and a half before you need to come back and check on it. Sort of every sort of 20 minutes, half an hour after that, just come back, see how you're getting on, see if it's pliable and malleable. Um, and when you have it to the perfect sort of dehydrated smoking consistency, then you're ready to go. It's the moment of truth. We are about to unveil our beef jerky. Will it compete with the South Africans? Will you enjoy it at home? Of course you will. Now, it's been cooking for uh, just over three hours. We talked about two to three hours. Sometimes it's longer. Some recipes talk about cooking it for five hours. We found that uh, the two to three hour mark is absolutely perfect. I have been checking on it intermittently. We actually do have less on this grill than when we started. Uh, I know the Traeger Ranger is good, but it can't make food evaporate. I'd like to say it was Bertie, but he doesn't have opposable thumbs. Tom, however, off screen does, and he's a big dibber for, for food. I've had a couple of beat pieces. Now, to actually test uh, whether your, your jerky is cooked as you would want it, what you're gonna do is if you bend it, it should snap and no moisture should come out of it. It should crack really nicely like that, knowing that there's absolutely no moisture. It's been perfectly dehydrated. So what you would normally do is take a Ziploc bag, put all of your beef jerky inside it, seal it, put it in the fridge for an hour. That heat inside that cold uh, environment will make the meat sweat, it will become a little bit more tender, and some of the crispy ed edges will soften and you will have that traditional beef jerky texture. However, we're greedy, we're hungry, the game is on in about 20 minutes, so here's what I would suggest you do. Just get a bowl, get a cold beer, serve it up, it, it tastes incredible, it's got a really naughty little kick to it, it's crispy, it's warm, what more do you need?